Hi and welcome students. Today I'm going to talk to you about Microsoft OneDrive and linking it up with your Windows 10 File Explorer. A lot of times you don't want to log on to OneDrive.com in order just to upload or download a file. So let's figure out how to link it to your PC. Let's get started. So right here you see I opened up File Explorer, which is this icon right down here. Once I open it up, I could see along the navigation pane on the left side, this PC. And I could see my hard drive as well as a few other location areas. Now what I want to do is I want to link up my OneDrive with my PC. Now keep in mind, you should only do this if you're using your home computer or a computer with that uh, is trusted that typically only you use. So let's figure out how to do that. I'm going to remove myself from the bottom right here. And then in the bottom right, you should see a cloud icon. If you don't see the cloud icon, click this little button right here that will show you your hidden icons. And if you're using Windows 10, you should see an icon that is a dark cloud. That dark cloud says OneDrive, not signed in. If you click click on that, you'll actually be able to set up your OneDrive so that you could access it directly from File Explorer in your navigation pane. So right here I'm going to go ahead and type in my OneDrive account username. Okay, now if you don't have this, I did make a video on how to create a OneDrive account. I'll link it at the end of this video. And then you'll type in your password. Okay, now your OneDrive password should be a very good password, a mixture of uh, numbers, special characters, capital letters, lowercase letters, so on and so forth. So after you type this in, it should, it'll say this is your OneDrive folder. You can click next and uh, you could just say use this location. That's fine. Um, and then it'll ask you about your files and how you want to sync them up. I leave all of the default settings right there and I'll click next. All right, then it'll log you into OneDrive on your PC and now you should never have to log into it again. Now it says it comes with premium OneDrive features. This is for $6.99 a month. You can download these on PC or Mac. I'm going to choose not now for the time being. It'll give you a quick tutorial on how to use OneDrive on your computer, and then eventually you can download it to your phone in order to get the mobile app so that you can use uh, your, your files on the go, which I definitely recommend. They have a great mobile app. All right, so then it'll say you're good to go. I'm just going to close out of this. All right, and so then we see that OneDrive appears along the left side of your navigation pane right over there. All right, now I've logged into a couple accounts on my OneDrive, and so they will sync up over time. And so as they sync up right here, you will see the syncing icons now appear. And now your OneDrive is now active right over here. All right, so I have OneDrive open. Now I'm gonna show you how to upload to your OneDrive. You'll go right here. And let's say I have this file right here, my PowerPoint basketball file, and I'm, it's time for me to save it. I'll go to File, Save As. And I usually just go right here to Browse. I could choose Browse right here and then I can choose the file that I want to link up on my OneDrive. Let's say that I go right down here to this one that says LBCC. I type in basketball PowerPoint. I type that in and I click save. Now it'll sync up with my OneDrive so that I can use it in various different uh, areas or I could go to OneDrive.com in order to see the file. All right, so that's how, uh, okay, I have logged into two so you will see this on mine. You should not see that on yours. So right there is how you log into OneDrive and use OneDrive on your file explorer. Hopefully this video has helped you figure out how to link up your OneDrive with your Windows 10 PC. Keep in mind you could always access OneDrive at OneDrive drive.com or you can access it from the mobile app. If you found this video helpful, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel as I have tutorials on all of the Microsoft Office applications as well as Windows 10 tutorials. So thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.